Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Portly Gamer, and I'm doing something a little different today. Um, so, as I mentioned in my recent update video, I want to do some different things with the channel. You know, bring some different kinds of content, some more consistent content. And that was two weeks ago, not one week like I was aiming for, but I'm a busy guy. Um, there's my dogs. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of trying to take a little bit of a, not a break, I don't want to say, this is in the way. Um, I'm not taking a break per se. Can you hear that? I'm not taking a break from the scripted videos necessarily, but I'm in this place right now where I have like at least four or so that I've been working on, that I have footage for, I have like half scripts for, and I've got myself into this sort of a block. Like everything's just kind of gumming up the works. So I figure it's going to take a while possibly to get any of those done. Why not do something different that I don't have to really script, don't really have to edit too much. It might be a little bit fun, something a little bit different. So anyway, I'm babbling. I have, I think I'd say the most popular videos on my channel are probably the two videos that I've done on visual novels. The first one I ever did, which is Hot Tuffle Boyfriend. That's the first video I ever made. And then a recent one, Cat President. Those are both two of my more popular videos. I don't have a lot of views altogether, but those have the highest views. And so I figure, hey, maybe visual novels might be fun to cover a little bit more. Being, you know, with the context that I don't really play visual novels, I don't really have a lot of experience. Unless you count things like Danganronpa, I don't really, I guess, I guess more I'm, I'm, I'm talking about dating sims kind of visual novels. Danganronpa is similar to a visual novel, but kind of different just from how I view it. I could be wrong, but so I decided to kind of just take a look on Steam and see what might be interesting. And I found this game, Never Give Up. It's a good lesson for all you kids, never give up. So Never Give Up, I don't know anything about it going in. I just know it's a vis uh, female protagonist, visual novel, romance, dating, sim kind of game and uh well let's learn a little bit about the game shall we someone is killing half bloods half elves half humans in a small city well at least it's just a small city their protagonist a young half blood girl called mia silverlight falls into a whirlpool of events that is a lot of events i think a whirlpool that's scary nobody likes those features three characters to build a relationship with Dark Elf, Detective, Light Elf, Classmate, and Human, Childhood Friend. Twelve endings, including one where the heroine dies, as well as plenty of colorful CG art. That doesn't seem related to be... That feels like the other one should be on another bullet point. Anyway, seems like it might be alright. Um, it actually just came out December 29th, so it's not even very old. It's pretty new. So we'll take a look at it. For a little bit. I don't know how long I'm going to do this. Um, I don't know anything right now. I'm just kind of winging it. Just for funsies. We're going to have some funsies together. So let's see what's, uh, what's going on. All right. Never give up. There it goes. Right across the screen. In case you missed it, it was called Never Give Up. So there's our heroine with a letter and some music that sounds a little bit like Creed. In my, It sounds like with arms wide open. Anybody remember that? Nobody? Okay. New game. Let's... Day one. Rumors in the air. It's so quiet in the garden today. I can hear the seagulls calling from the shore. It's down there, at the foot of the hill on which the academy stands. The sun is so warm that it makes you want to close your eyes and fall into the bushy grass, pretending that you're a lazy house cat. Well, I'm familiar with that sensation, that's for sure. I wonder if school is out yet. The bell can't be heard here. Not that I was listening. I suppose it's time to go home, but I want to keep sitting here alone so much. Where is my handkerchief? Is that how you spell handkerchief? I guess it is. Handkerchief. Handkerchief. Oh, here it is. It's so wet. It's almost dripping. I just finished crying, but my eyes still burn from the tears. Oh, what's wrong, Mr. Uh, Mr. or Miss Sad Person? What are you crying for? <clears throat> I have to go before the other students start heading home. 
Mia, there you are. I should have stayed for Professor Goldstone's lecture. You should have stayed, sorry. You should have stayed. He'll be wild with anger tomorrow. The professor doesn't take any disrespect of his subject. <clears throat> I can't read. The professor doesn't take any disrespect of his subject lightly. Oh no, I needed some time alone. Are, are you okay? You shouldn't have let the Dark Rose sisters get to you. You know they're bugging you on purpose only to watch you cry. That's just mean. You need to learn to ignore them like I did over time. Lauren, you've been studying here since you were a child, but this is only my first year. How can I ignore them if they're trying to degrade me? Oh, Mia, in my years of studies, I've learned that no insults are worth crying over. They're just words, you see. They're trying to offend you, but you don't have to pay any attention to that. That's true. If someone's just saying negative words to you or words you don't like, they're just words. Move on with your day. Your whole face is swollen. <laughs> I just picture like... <laughs> your whole face is swollen. Did you spend this whole time crying here? Mia, I... I don't even know how to comfort you. Want me to walk you home? The only thing is, Cousin Wilhelm from, Wilhelm from the Magic Academy is picking me up today. But he probably won't mind walking you home. We half-bloods have to stick together. Everything's fine, Lauren. I'm feeling better, really. Then perhaps I can help you in some... other way. <laughs> Leave me alone. Tell me what... Tell me about what happened at Professor Goldstone's lecture. Tell me, how did you end up at the academy? What happened after I ran off? Be honest. Maybe some other time. I don't need anything right now, Lauren. What should we say? Uh, what happened after I ran off? Be honest. We'll, we'll start off nice. Do you really want to know? Yes, that's why I asked you. Why else, why else would I be asking, Lauren? What is it? What? L. <laughs> as soon as you ran out of the classroom, Rose Marie immediately announced that you've yet again shown your inferiority and cowardice. That those like you need to be kept as far away from noble elves as possible. Well. And Louise said that, uh, that it disgusts her that you even breathe the same air as Half-Bloods. And, you know, there was a lot of other stuff. I'm sorry. I didn't want to tell you. It's my fault that I asked about it. Look at that sad face. Look at that little glum face. It is your fault, Mia. You brought this on yourself. I felt something start pinching in my nose and... Oh, wait, no. I'm paying attention to the voices. Stop hitting the microphone! I felt something start pinching in my nose and uncalled tears appeared in my eyes. I tried to bite it back and keep myself from starting to cry again. Don't even think of crying, Mia. The Dark Rose sisters don't understand a thing. Simply their parents taught them to pay them taught them to pay too much attention to things that don't matter at all. I gratefully nodded to Lauren while trying to brush the tears off my cheeks in the least noticeable way possible. Mmm. <laughs> just leave me alone. I'll be better off if you just go home. Or it'll be better if you just go home. I'll make it home on my own a bit later. I need to get my thoughts together. You're always alone as it is, Mia. I don't think it's doing any good for your outlook on life. Lauren, please, just be on your way. I don't need company now. Fine, as you wish. I'm leaving. If I were you, I would be friendlier to those who want to help you. The heck do you know, Lauren, if that is your real name? What am I doing? Lauren is my only friend at the Academy, and she's a half-blood, like me. I should have more appreciation for her being nice to me. I wish I weren't here in the Academy Garden, but someplace else. Somewhere where no one knows me. <clears throat> somewhere where no one knows me, or better yet, if I was invisible. So I could walk among the humans and elves and no one would notice or bother me. That would be great. Why am I such a loser? 
Sometimes it seems that everything I do is doomed to fail. Been there. And those dark rows, they're beautiful and rich from a noble family. Of course they would taunt someone like me. If only I'd stayed home and never went to this academy. So I wouldn't know who my father really is. My mother is a regular woman, a human. But her story, unlike the story of Lauren's mother, didn't end with a wedding. Of course, I've known that my father was an elf. It's not that hard to guess by looking at my ears, which are completely unlike human ears. Humans don't like me much, but they treat me with compassion. Some even think I'm attractive, but for elves, my appearance is shameful because it shows the story of their tribesmen's lapse of virtue. Lord Silverlight had no successors, and only after his death did it become clear that he had a daughter from a human woman. He wrote about me in his will. Of course, that caused a horrible scandal, but what shocked the public the most was that Lord Silverlight named me the legal heiress to, of his title and fortune. Well, hey, I mean, if he's a lord and he left you his fortune, what are you crying about? Why are you even going to school? You don't need an education. You're set. You've got money. Go spend it. Go hang out in your house and enjoy it. Go buy some video games, buy some hot cocoa and some sweaters, sit by the fire, and everything will be just fine. Uh, moving on. Unfortunately, I just can't take the money and move somewhere where no one will know or judge me. The problem is that before I turn 21, my guardian will be my father's brother and I can't take ownership of the money. Okay, that explains it. So, that sucks. My uncle is the cold and eternally busy as cold, as cold Silverlight. He sounds ass cold. It just sounds like an awful person. He has devoted his whole life to science and magic. He had no interest in humans, elves, or half-bloods. I don't think he was too happy about gaining a niece like me. Despite me being 17 already, Uncle sent me to a special academy for aristocratic elves to be taught manners, social behavior, music, and other unnecessary things. Yeah, who needs manners and social behavior? Just, just sit around like a louse and just not do anything. Although that is what I suggested just a couple minutes ago, and honestly, it's probably pretty sweet. To say that I'm not welcome here would be putting it lightly. Suddenly, I heard footsteps. Seems that someone is coming closer. Hide or stay where I am. Let's hide. I quickly hid in the nearest bushes. And, and you make this sound when you're in the bushes. <laughs> oh, it's them. It's good that I managed to hide because the Dark Rose sisters appeared in the on the clearing. Louise and Rosemarie. <clears throat> I don't know if it's Luis or Louise, but I'm going to say Luis because Luis is like a guy's name in Spanish. So, Luis it is. Luis and Rosemary. The ones whose taunting made me run out of the etiquette lesson in tears. They were cheerfully discussing something. Something. Or someone. That half-blood truly is repulsive. Did you see her face when she ran out of the classroom during recess? She was like as red as a lobster. Oh, sick burn. Not a drop of aristocratism and elegance. Just a dirty peasant. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I thought she would start blubbering right on the... Sp Oops, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, I thought she would start blubbering right on the spot. Nuzzled in the stupid love novels she reads during recess. Yeah, who reads those? Who reads love novels? Visual or otherwise. Professor Goldstone would be really angry with her tomorrow. He's a noble elf of noble kin. Certainly he despises that half-blood no less than we do. Exposition, exposition, exposition. The mere thought of an elf sleeping with a human woman disgusts me. What horrible words you say, Teehee. Haven't you ever thought of sleeping with a human? Remember that cute gardener from our mansion? George, was it? This is getting... Odd. Rosemary, you're so bad. Don't tell me you like that bozo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why, Lauren Greenhill's... Why, Lauren Greenhill's father even married a peasant. What's this world coming to? Now there are whole half-bloods in our... Two whole half-bloods in our class. Well, hey, two whole half-bloods makes a whole blood, so why not just stick them together, make them friends, and then you'll like them. 
All right, we need to hurry home. Remember, we have to make it in time to, to the seamstresses in order to try on our new ball gowns. They're so mean. I've never done anything to hurt them. I crawled out of the bushes and started shaking off the leaves stuck to my dress. My heart felt foul and heavy, as if I had a buck as if I had a buck of a bucket of dishwasher dishwater. I think that's supposed to say bucket. I know I can't read, but that says bucket bucked. As if I had a bucket of dishwater poured on me. Oh, who's this guy? Alistair. Alistair. We'll just say Alistair. Were you eavesdropping on my sisters? Oh, no. While sitting in the bushes, I hadn't even noticed that right behind the Dark Rose sisters followed their silent brother, Alistair. What will he think of me now? Oh, God, I'm so embarrassed. I... No, it happened on accident. I... I didn't want to. On accident? You were hiding in the bushes and eavesdropping on their conversations. Alistair, please, just don't tell them. I swear that it happened by accident. I didn't know that they were the ones coming here. Stop making excuses, Half-Blood. You look ridiculous with those leaves in your hair. I started frantically taking the stuck leaves and other tree remains out of my hair. I wanted to fall through the ground out of shame and humiliation. I... Don't tell them. Please. I don't care what you do in your free time. Stop panicking. I have better things to do than exchange gossip with my sisters. This means you won't tell them? Oh, thank you. Go home. It's nighttime soon. It'll be better... It'll be better for a young girl, especially like you, to be home. I've heard that the murderer who kills inferiors is back in town. Inferior? Me? What's that supposed to mean? It's not my fault that I belong to neither humans nor elves. I felt even worse after hearing that awful word. So what? I don't care what all those snobby nobles think about me. Atta girl. Do your thing. Just be you and be true to um, your heritage. My phone keeps making noises. Actually, of course I care. But at least with Alistair, I won't say anything to it. But at least Alistair won't say anything to his sisters. I'm really sorry that I can't read, guys, and that I keep hitting this stupid thing on my microphone that holds my headphones in place when I'm not using them. Um, anyway, moving on. Hopefully I can get better at this with more practice. This is just something I'm doing for an experiment, trying to test out, just for fun. Again, um, maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. And who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, feel free to check out one of these other videos you see here on the screen. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me by looking up The Portly Gamer on the social networks below.